This is a special feature from Overdrive. And now, here's our broadcast. This is Wayne Jones in Kerrville, Texas. I agree that the uh, Collins Amendment is the right thing to do. Um, as drivers are paid less, at least it gives him some sense of control over his lifestyle. If he can either choose to sleep or drive or go on home to the house. Uh, after dealing with the dispatch, shops, docks, road construction, accidents, maintenance, taxes, and regulations. And um, let alone having to deal with the family long distance. Pass the Collins Amendment. It's the right thing to do. Yeah, this is uh, Ken Elmore. I live in Mooresville, North Carolina. I own our operator since 1979. The provisions for a restart should go back to the last time it, it, when we were off for 34 hours and you could restart. And the uh, electronic onboard recorders should be doing away with. I do not want one in my truck. I'm thinking about retiring or getting out of it completely when they start. Larry LaMartina, Chesterfield, Missouri. My comment is 90% of the truck drivers on the road are safe. 10% give us a bad name. I think the training needs to be more intensive. The caliber of people that the trucking companies select should be much greater than it is. And I think that there should be infomercials on TV to train the cars how to drive around the trucks. If I had a dash cam put in my truck, you would not believe some of the things that I see on a daily basis. The way cars are cut in front of you, the way they get on the highway, the way they pass. Unbelievable. The government is barking up the wrong tree when they try to alter the hours of service. They have no clue as to what the trucking industry even is, and they're making laws that we need to abide by when they have no clue of what's going on or what the real problems are. And I don't think it'll ever be fixed. Yeah, it's Frank Hyatt, H-I-A-T-T, from Rock Falls, Illinois. Uh, I believe that uh, the ADA, for once, has our interest in heart. I believe that uh, it's just a stupid rule. And uh, I'm the same way. I, I saw comments where they said that they uh, are more tired and have less home time, and I believe that's true. Hi, this is Lance Frosten Sr. from Massachusetts. I just can't believe after taking five years off, uh, finding out about this uh, one in five rule, uh, the State Department, along with uh, the planner and dispatch, you know, they mentioned that there was a one to five a.m. rule. That's the reason why I didn't get a restart. And I was like, you guys are joking, right? And uh, I, I thought they were playing some kind of joke or prank on me. And uh, I didn't know about this one in five rule until, you know, getting back into the, over the road. And uh, I found out that after driving week after week after week, I kept on going into the one o'clock time frame, not being able to get to my uh, destination so that I could take my restart. A few weeks later, I would finally be able to take a 34-hour restart. Uh, I find myself, uh, as a night driver, 90% of the time. And, you know, I just feel that it's just not right to the night drivers. I think it's... Yeah, this is Chris Aid, uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, I'm a operator, East to George Hildebrandt. Commenting on the past service, the Collins Amendment, uh, what it does to me, where it holds me back if I uh, 
go ahead and work Saturday, it uh, makes me have to work real short one day, or I can't make it home from a family. Uh, so it affects me financially and my family time, and also it ends up more stressful. Uh, puts a lot more traffic out on the road at one time because uh, everybody's leaving the same time. You know, a lot of times Monday morning, everybody's leaving at the same time. So uh, it's just a, you know it's a big foul up, and uh, I think the whole thing. Uh, me personally, it, uh, it put a damper, uh, I get less rest, and it affects me financially. Do an extra load here or there on a Saturday morning, you know, in these times when uh, everything's so tight out there. And, uh, I, I don't believe at all it's making it safer. I'm all for safe, you know, and it's hard to argue safe, I know that. And, uh, but uh, I don't think that's making the road safer, you know. I think they're, they're barking up the wrong tree to make the road safer.